Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, uh, basically, uh, if I can just say something before I go out is that uh, some of these things that are happening in this country, they are quite predictable. Some of these things that are happening in this country, they are quite predictable. But what baffles me is um, how the political players are failing to see that this action will lead to this. This action will lead to this. I'm really baffled how the political players are failing to predict that if we do this, this is what's going to happen. If we do this, there is this risk. I can't understand. And I am saying this both to the, uh, the ruling party and to the PF. I am saying this both to the ruling party and to the PF. And in spite of me not feeling well, I feel I must make this point. I feel I must make this point. Objectively, objectively, for the love of this country, for the love of this country, as a patriot that I am, I am not here to attack anyone. I am not here to incite anyone. I am not here to sabotage anyone but just to say something for people to consider for people to consider and in this case the UPND the UPND um, given the patriotic front uh, have been careless themselves. They have been very careless, particularly President uh, uh, Edgar Chagwalungu. He has been selfish, like I've been saying it here. He has been selfish, like I've been saying, saying it here. What is happening in PF could have been avoided. What is happening in PF could have been avoided. But uh, it has happened, but the UPND should not just stand there and clap and enjoy and uh, allow uh, certain things to happen because at the end of the day they have a greater responsibility. PF is not in power. PF is not in power. UPND is in power. UPND has a greater responsibility to the Zambian people than the PF. So much as we get excited to say this UPF has caused this by themselves by because of their selfishness, because of their carelessness, we must recognize that UPND has a greater responsibility. You have a greater responsibility. PF are not in power. I am insisting. PF are not in power. UPND is in power. So whatever has happened in PF, I agree from my point of view because I think I'm one of those people that started speaking uh, earlier and warned the leadership in PF, especially President Hakai and President Edgar Lungu, to say, look, what you are doing is not good. 
you need to come out if you want to continue holding on to presidency of UP of PF. I knew President Edgar Shagolungu was interested in that leadership and he even wanted to contest an election and I told him please come out please come out to clear the uncertainties that were around clear it just come out he didn't come out and we have the Mao Sampasekas after the Mao Sampasekas now we have a governance circus we have a governance circus what happened the what is happening in, in the in parliament is not good what is happening in parliament is not good you can say no pf caused this brought this by themselves brought this on on themselves you can say that pf brought this on themselves but what about the government institutions should the government institutions be perceived to be uh, not following the law should the government society uh, 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 systems be seen to say you know they are taking advantage of power should the government system be seen that they are intolerant because truth be told UPND with this PF issue they are showing that they are not following the law and that is my worry that is my worry they are showing that they are not following the, the law they are not showing that they are, they are not tolerant they are showing there is this fear that is being instilled in us including myself including myself i will not pretend i will not pretend i feel i feel scared i feel scared each time i open you know my social media i want to interact with people i'm scared i'm scared that i i mean i, sh I shouldn't dare say something that will upset government but that is not good that is not good of course we shouldn't allow ourselves to be careless in our statements to be uh, you know derogatory no that we shouldn't do but at least we should we should feel free to express ourselves because when we express ourselves in society those are pressure valves those are pressure valves those who have done psychology or sociology will tell you that in society we need you need pressure valves pressure valves you know people inhibit so much pressure in themselves they inhibit pressure in themselves from different angles of uh, their their lives from different from dif different angles of their lives i for one i've got my i can give an example of myself i've got my own pressures and some of those pressures trust me some of them emanates from my own here in my family in my family i've got my own pressures from my family i mean currently i'm actually going through therapy uh, because of my family pressures it's true i want to tell you this um, i mean I, I want to confess myself that i'm not okay i'm not okay i've got so much pressure which pressure has sent me into therapy and i know a lot of people when you talk about therapy it's like no you are confused and whatever no therapy is very important we we have so much pressure sometimes and that pressure you know cause some emotional and physical imbalance as i'm speaking here i'm sweating i'm 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 i'm, I'm basically sick 
but you see some of these uh, some of these sicknesses they come as a result of psychological imbalance when your psyche is not okay it actually comes into the into the into the physique and you become you become sick you would actually be confident that no you actually be saying i'm i'm very sick you know i'm sick i'm sick and they will even take you to the hospital the doctor will measure you and you'll be you'll be like you're okay no they don't find anything and people will be like yeah they have judged him you know they have judged him they have whatever whatever and yet it is the it is the psychological imbalance in you the emotional imbalance in you that is uh, bringing out the uh, you know the symptoms through the physical um, uh, aspects so but whilst i'm having that i mean you need how how to resolve that you know some of it it is the economic pressures economic pressures can cause you uh, emotional imbalance psych uh, uh, frailty you know and then of course political political pressures and then of course we also have even this social media this social media that we, you know we like so much it has a great impact on us this social media that we like so much it has great impact and when i'm watching a number of people on social media they look like they are okay you know they come on social media they open live they are talking and what and what and you hear what they are saying it is not making sense because their psychological uh, uh, status is not very is not good and this is why i mean i, I have refrained myself from talking about chela tukuta a lot of you are talking about chela tukuta what no chela tukuta said a lot of things no chela tukuta doesn't listen whatever whatever me i think i want to sympathize with chela tukuta i want to sympathize with chela tukuta i'm not going to say bad things on that brother of mine no i'm not going to do that because i from what i have seen i think he needs support than ridicule i think he needs support than than you know bashing him saying all sorts of things when a person is in a psychological um, uh, stress there is nothing that you are going to tell him that will help him especially from a social media point of view when you are bashing him no you used to insult women you used to do whatever 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 i don't think this is the right time to tell chela to put that i don't think this is the right time to tell chela to put that and uh, yes to say hey, he should stop coming on social media maybe that's how he's releasing his energy maybe that is where the pressure valve is uh, so it will come out but let us be considerate with what we say uh, you know these 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 problems uh, they really they really come out in different ways some of them they start lying some of them they will start bashing other people but let us be considerate when we make comments because we might send a person to an early grave by our comments we might send a person to an early grave by our comments so me i'm kindly asking for chela tukuta please don't load your gun to shoot him down no it's not good what are we going to benefit out of it what are we going to benefit let's support the brother i think it i think the issue of firing tichela tukuta by by the government has not helped him of course we can't run away from you know uh, uh, confronting him to take responsibility for his actions because yes he's coming out he's trying to blame this one trying to blame this one trying to blame this one now i think he he also needs to take responsibility but as we remind him of his responsibility as we remind him to say 
you know, be a man and take responsibility. Let us do it kindly. Let us do it kindly. So in the same vein, this is like we're talking on a personal level. In the same vein, you know, with society or politically, sometimes we need to consider people. Sometimes we need to consider people, how we treat them. Here I'm giving an example of caring for a brother. In spite of what he's doing, we care for him. We, yes, we cannot uh, absorb him of his responsibility, of his actions, uh, but let us be nice to him. It's the same thing on a society level. PF as a party, everybody in PF, they might not realize this. They are also suffering a trauma, a trauma from losing an election. PF, they are suffering from a trauma, a trauma of losing elections. Up to today, a lot of people in PF cannot realize that they, uh, they have lost power. They don't have the power that they were wielding. It was a shock that they lost power. Starting with President Edgar Lung, remember how he was talking. I'll come back. I'll come and do this. I'll come and do this. Now they have lost power. And those people that they were thinking they will come and fix, they, some of them are in leadership. And they are coming to their faces. You know, they are telling them, sit down. In, the, in parliament where they enjoyed you know, uh, popu uh, uh, um, uh, what is this? Where they enjoyed majority, um, whatever, uh, presence in, in parliament where they had so much power, all of a sudden they don't have that. And they are trying to fight, they are trying to show that, you know, we have the power, we have the power somehow. Because they are in shock. They have a political trauma. And then Mao comes in and does this. He, you know, without following the law, he grabs PF. This is a big shock to the PF. It's a big shock. And those that are in government need to be, you know, to approach them you know, with caution. You need to approach them with caution. They shouldn't just go ahead and wield power also. I mean, we are in power, we are in power, we are in power. They have got supporters, PF has got supporters, a lot of supporters. As you do that, trying to threaten them, suspend them, you know, ah, it's not very good, eh? It's not very good. It's risky. It's risky. It's risky. I don't agree with indiscipline. I don't agree with indiscipline. But you know, there is a time to wield, you know, to, to crack a whip. There is a time to crack a whip. You don't just come, even at home, when children are not, have, 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 have conducted themselves, uh, have misconducted themselves, even at home. As a parent, you have to be careful when you engage them or when you can them. Otherwise, you might be doing it at a wrong time. You might be doing it at a wrong time and your goodwill of trying to instill discipline might not work. Might not work. It might backfire. It might backfire because some of these children that we see like for example girls if you go out there are some of these people that you see on the streets it's not all because where they come from there is no food no some of them it is rebellion it is rebe rebellion because their parents did not handle the issue of discipline uh in the in the right way they may have a good intent we have met a number of children a number of parents that's, that complain about their children to say, he did this, she did this, and all I did, I wanted to discipline him, and this child doesn't listen. How did you 
instill that discipline in that child? How did you instill that discipline in that child? No, this person, we, we advise him, he doesn't listen. We told him this, he did this, he did this, like we are talking about Chela Tukuta. How did you instill that discipline? This is, this is my call to the UPND. Me, I don't blame you for what is happening in PF. The PF caused what has, what has happened in them. But the way the government is coming in, uh -uh, it's not very helpful. It is, it, is, it is risky. It is risky and I'm encouraging you that whatever you're, that you're doing to try and instill discipline, whether in society, whether in parliament, don't look to be heavy-handed. Don't appear to be heavy-handed. I, for one, I feel UPND is being heavy-handed. Even when some of us are trying to... Uh, are trying to be good boys, are trying to be good good children. UPND still continue the more to be heavy handed on us. I'll say this, I'm saying I'm saying this. Even some of us who are trying, you know, to be good, UPND is seemingly heavy handed on us. I appeal to you, my brothers and sisters in UPND, that please show a good heart show a good heart to the zambian people show a good heart to all of us i am not encouraging in discipline but whatever you are doing can you do it with love can you show you know um that that heart that compassion in whatever you are doing can you show that compassion otherwise if you do things to say well we have the powers so we can do this so we can do this that is not very good that is not good for our country it's not good for our country it's not good for our country we need discipline we need to follow the law but those that are enforcing the law those that are in power let them show that they love us let them show that they are not out here to just punish us to just punish us that all they are interested is to inflict pain on us what happened in parliament i am not supporting uh in discipline but surely i feel the speaker is coming out too heavy-handed the speaker is coming too heavy-handed. Uh, no, it's not good. It's not good. I know some of you who say, no, no, but Matibini did this. Hey, whoever did this, yeah, they could have done whatever they did. They could have suspended 30 members of parliament. And you, you have suspended 17. That is okay. No, it's, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I understand the conduct of members, some of the members of parliament was not good. But then again, it was not good. How do we handle it? You don't come when there is so much, so much political pressure. And some of them, some of those members of parliament that you are seeing, they may be having problems just like me. Some of them, they may be having sociological, uh, soci uh, uh, economic problems. And then you just come out and boom, boom, because you did this, because you did this, ish, it doesn't look very good. Eh? It doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very good. But like I said, I am not okay. I'm sure you can see how I'm sweating here. Uh, let me go and uh, and sleep. I just wanted to make this point that please, please, can we find a way that uh, you know we can allow people to feel free? We can allow people to express themselves. We can be tolerant because those are pressure valves in society. When someone is able to come on social media and express himself, express herself, that is a pressure valve. That is a pressure valve. 
and in certain instances what they may say on social media may not be so nice it, we shouldn't be seen to be so heavy handed even members of parliament when they are coming out in a certain way then when they are coming in a certain way let us let us exercise some 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 compassion some leniency in the way that we we handle each other but in the same vein those of us who are not in power let us also be careful how we uh, come out because here this is i'm not saying we should just come out anyhow no let us engage those that are in government let us engage Nelly Mote. i said it here that you know going you know fist by fist you know is not very good Truth for a truth is not good. I, I, I discouraged the UPND, the PF government, the PF uh, uh, members of parliament that fighting Nelly Muti is not good. So unfortunately, you know, they also went in, you know, it's punch for punch, punch for punch. But at the end of the day, some of them are, are suspended. But still, I still insist that Vanelli Mutu would have exercised that, uh, you know, that compassion, that leniency, that tolerance, than the manner that uh, she, 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 she came out. Yeah, I think I'll leave it here for, for tonight. I'm really not okay. Let me go back and sleep. Good night and thanks for, for following. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.